Hi, and welcome back to a tag team collab. Yes, um, this week's challenge is basically just dealer's choice. So you could choose whatever you wanted. So really no challenge. <laughs> I decided to do a deconstructive bloom. Karen at Waterfall Acrylics, she is the person to go to if you've ever want to try this type of painting. She is awesome, wonderful, can't say enough. I've linked her, her YouTube channel down below. August started us off on this collab thank you august wonderful artist go check him out if you haven't seen him yet after me is kathy at kathy's art venture i just want to say thank you all for coming let's get you down to painting and i'll talk a little bit about what different paints i'm going to be using and then i will put on music and i'll see you at the end I will be using 12 by 16 inch canvas. I am using uh, Piggies. I am using Glidden Essential as my pillow paint. And you can get that at uh, Home Depot. There we go. Today's colors, I am starting off with, well, it's gonna be one of the colors, but it's my main color. The new TLP. This little piggy mint chip inspired by Lisa Marvin. You should go check her channel out. Oh my God, I love this green. And of course, since I'm doing a de deconstructive bloom, I am using TLP Waterfall for Karen at Waterfall Acrylic. I'm also gonna use Agapanthus, cause, oh my gosh. Who doesn't love Agapanthus? Look at this. And I'm going to use some interference. I'm using Velvet, which is a blue interference. I'm not sure if you can see the shimmer in that or not, but I can. As well as Sequence, which it gives off a violet sparkle. Yes. These are my colors, and I'm using my cell activator. I'm going to use titanium white. I don't know, it seems a little on the runny side, so hopefully it works. I tried to thicken it up. Australian Floetrol with titanium white. I do usually two parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint. And then I didn't have a lot of black. I'm gonna use two cell activators. Now this is thicker. So I don't know how this is gonna look. And I mixed lamp black, I think, with uh, Mars black? Yeah, why not, right? <laughs> All right, so I am going to put down my base. I will bring you back after I'm done this and we can start putting down the paints. I have my pillow base paint down and I saw a bloop somewhere and now I can't find it. So let's hope and pray that uh, it doesn't ruin my painting. How do we want to layer these paints? Do I put down the interference? Do I put down color? I guess color? Let's go with waterfall. Sort of here, I guess. And that's not enough. So let's put a little bit more. There we go. And then I am going to use velvet. So that was waterfall. Now I'm going to use velvet. And then I'm going to put down the star of the show, mint chip. Beautiful, beautiful. Then Agapanthus. No, we are going to put sequence, then Agapanthus. Sequence, and Agapanthus, and then we are going to put black cell activator and then the white cell activator. Then I'm gonna use my hair dryer, blow it out, high, cool. Let's hope this works.
Don't mind it, it's not bad. Here are the dried results of my first deconstructive bloom. Up next is Kathy at Grandma Kathy's Art Venture, so please stay tuned as she is up next. If anyone would like to purchase any of my paintings or would like a commission piece, please contact me. I would love to make your creation. All right, stay tuned for Kathy. Bye.